Hi there, David Starr with another Mastering the Marketplace video. Sometimes customers negotiate a custom price for the product being sold in the Azure Marketplace, but some customers experience issues when completing the purchase. This is often due to permission or policy issues within Azure. This video shows how to mitigate potential purchase permission issues using the Azure Marketplace Check Eligibility Tool. Let's have a look at what we're going to cover in this video. First, we'll have an overview of the Check Eligibility Tool. We'll talk about its purpose and why you might want to use the tool in the first place. Next, we'll do a short demo on where to find the tool and how to use it. And then we'll review the tool results and show you where you can find information your partner may need or the seller may need to create your private offer or plan. Let's start by taking a look at the tool that can help you troubleshoot and mitigate these issues. To purchase a private offer or a private plan, the partner may need some information about your subscription, so the offer or plan is available to you. Now, I will note here that the difference between a private offer and plan probably doesn't matter to you as a customer, but it is something that matters to the publisher. So they're going to tell you what information they're going to need from you, and the tool can provide that. Now, you may need to configure your Azure account in such a way that allows for purchasing of private offers or plans. Let's take a look. Introducing the Azure Marketplace Check eligibility tool available to you right in the Azure portal. So what does this thing do? Well, the tool can validate that a specific account can purchase offers from the marketplace. It provides the information about your Azure subscription or Entre tenant that pertain to your ability to purchase a private plan or private offer from the marketplace. Now this tool requires no special configuration. It runs with a single button click right inside the Azure portal and simplifies everything you need to accept a private offer or install a private plan. Now, let's take a look at where you can find the tool in Azure and how to use it. I'll jump into a quick demo that will show you how to find and use the tool. Now here I am in the Azure portal and I'm going to navigate to the marketplace and I do so by searching for it, select marketplace. I've got two places where I can go to run the tool, one being the under private offer management, another being under private plans. For this scenario, I'm going to select private offer management. Next, it's relatively simple because we're able to simply come up to the check eligibility tool and click it so that it runs. And you can see what it's telling me right now is that all of my permissions pass, and that's great. But often you'll find that one or more of the steps that are shown in this tool don't pass. You might get a warning uh, that a particular step or check doesn't pass. So another feature that's offered by this tool is some more information, a little bit more detail on what's going on. And for that, we can download the report. It comes as a CSV file that'll open in Excel for you. And let's go back and take a look at what it may feel like when you're not passing all of the eligibility requirements. We saw there were a number of checks that were made uh, by that tool. So let's understand first what that tool output really means. Now, if you look at the output of this private offer eligibility tool run, you'll see down at the bottom that I do have a warning. But let's step through these. If you have a look at the output, you'll see there's general information at the top of the output, including your Entra tenant ID. Now, this tenant ID is something that is required by publishers in many cases to complete the offer they want to make to you. Next, I have been assigned permissions on my Azure subscription. So this is telling me that I do in fact have an Azure subscription that I can use to make the purchase. Next, the tool is telling me that we actually don't have the right permissions on that one subscription that I'm trying to use. And that's unfortunate. Let's see what else we have. I see here, that my subscription's tied to a single billing account, that's absolutely fine. 
uh, we, we want one or more billing accounts to be associated with our subscription. In the eligibility check results, we see some green circles and a warning triangle. Let's review what the output means. First, my subscription is not cloud solution provider managed. This is good news because cloud solution provider managed subscriptions do not allow for private offers or plans. If this is green, which it most likely is for you, just don't worry about it and move on. The private marketplace is not enabled for my subscription. There are no Azure policies that block marketplace permission. So this is really good news. Sometimes you may have an Azure policy in place that your Azure administrator has put on your Entra tenant that would prevent you from making these purchases. If this is a warning to you, instead of a green circle like this one, you're gonna to need to reach out to your Azure administrator and ask for an exception to policy. Lastly, we can see that there's a warning triangle saying that I'm missing permissions required to run the eligibility check. That's going to be subscription dependent though. Some subscriptions may be fine, some may not. So the next thing we can do is download that report as I mentioned a few minutes ago by clicking on the download report and see if we can figure out what we're missing. The report is a CSV file that can be opened in Excel or the text editor of your choice. If we look at my output, you'll see that I'm not allowed to deploy private offers. This means I need to reach out to my Azure administrator and ask them to grant me the permissions to deploy private offers so I can complete the purchase process. Let's take a look at what that looks like from the administrator's point of view. Starting at the top, the administrator will go to cost management and billing in the Azure portal. And from here, they'll select billing scopes. Under billing scopes, in my case, I have one billing scope. There might be more in your case. And from here, we select that billing scope, come down to policies over here on the left-hand menu. So I select policy, and here I find a setting that pertains explicitly to the Azure Marketplace. So in many cases, this setting will be off for you if you're failing or getting that warning, and this will be the mitigating step that the administrator can take is to turn on this Azure Marketplace permission. So with that, we've mitigated any existing issues, and we can now see that I've got all green in my eligibility tool. As I mentioned, your partner or seller may need to know some information about your subscription, and the report contains exactly what the partner may need. If a partner has created a private plan for you, the partner is going to need your Entra tenant ID, which is known as the directory ID in the report. If, however, they've created a private offer, they'll need the Azure billing ID, which is the billing account ID in the report. You can take the values out of this report file and pass them to the seller so they can configure your private offer or private plan. Let's review what we talked about in this video. We discussed why you may need to run the check eligibility tool in the first place. That is simply that we want to see if we're going to be able to make our purchase successfully. We then did a demo of the tool and located it so that you know where to find it within the Azure portal. Finally. We reviewed the tool output, determined what permissions I needed, and corrected them to purchase private offers and viewed what information your partner may request when setting up your private offer. Thank you for joining us for another video from Mastering the Marketplace, the learning library where technologists go to get their offer on the Microsoft Marketplace. For more videos, hands-on labs, and sample code, Find us at aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.